Morning, this is Brian. Today is Wednesday, May 25th, 2022. I am near the historical dam trail of Mission Trails Regional Park. And today, I want to provide a spotlight on plants video. Today's spotlight is on a plant I am finally seeing for the first time in my entire life. A plant I knew I'd recognize when I saw it in bloom. And it is called Yerba Buena. It is this plant here, it is called Anamopsis Californica. It is a pretty common native plant in wet wet and wet sites like this here, right by the San Diego River. And we're in a riparian habitat. Riparian meaning where there are sources of water, whether above ground or below ground. This plant tends to prefer to be in wetter, the wetter sites as opposed to the drier sites. So it is a member of the, the lizard tail family, the Sararaceae. And it's uh, believed to be a quite ancient lineage of plants more related to the magnolia. So this plant is listed as being a magnoliid. I believe that I believe that, that comes from a more ancient lineage of plants, as I just mentioned. So what we have here are these light green bladed leaves. The leaves have a lot of uh, leaf stalks here. The petioles have very bristly hairs, as you can see here, if you look carefully enough, you can kind of see the bristliness of it. And you get this wide leaf blaze. The leaves are quite large on this plant. Again, it's right near a river. And being this is the first time I've ever seen it, it kind of shocked me. Because I've been in places where I should have been able to find this plant and have never found it. I've seen other plants that look similar to it, like uh, some of the non-native plantains that do get established in wetter habitats such as this. And they have similarly shaped leaves but they don't develop these inflorescences that are quite striking. Their uh, inflorescence on plantains tend to be more upright, but greenish as opposed to whitish. So what we're looking at here are these small inflorescences subtended by these white bracts. So these are not petals. These are not petals of the plant. These are actually modified leaves. These little white structures inside comprise the flowers. So this is a, a flower head. A flower head and another flower head. It's quite a striking plant. <laughs> when you're expecting to find in marshy habitats, I believe even in brackish waters near uh, near the ocean. But pretty interesting little plant here. So I'm happy that I finally saw this plant for the first time in I've been wanting to check this plant out for a very long time, actually, for years, thinking I see it. So if you check out my video, my video description, I'll post a, I'll post a, uh, the plant's range, the approximate range of this plant. Um, I believe it's supposed to be widespread here in the United States, maybe the world, I don't know, um, <clears throat> but I will definitely be posting about it, but one thing you got to love is these very erect inflorescence stalks. Again, those white petal-like structures underneath are not actually flower petals, but they are bracts. So when you're out and about hiking along a river, stream, pond, or even a marshy site, take time to look out for this plant. Anamopsis californica, a member of the lizard tail family, Sararaceae, called Yerba Buena. So that will do it for this spotlight on plants. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, we'll see what other kind of interesting plants I find along my journey today.